After defeating Liu Yao, Sun Tzu continued his advance. Having quickly subdued the lands of Jiangdong, the people elected to give him a new name. The Little Conqueror. They compared him to the legendary conqueror Xiang Yu, who had overthrown the Qin Dynasty. Meanwhile, in the Central Plains, the hero of chaos, Cao Cao, was steadily increasing his strength. After the emperor fled Chang'an, Cao Cao took him under his protection and moved the capital to Xu Chang. In possession of the imperial seal, Yuan Shu used it to declare himself emperor in order to block Cao Cao's grab for power. However, Yuan Shu's claim was ignored and an imperial edict was made to slay him for his treachery. For the authority of the emperor lies not in a mere object, but rather in he who wields the most power. These wise words of Zhou Yu would soon be proven true. Sun Tzu moved to obey the edict and together with his family attacked Yuan Shu at his base of Shouchuan. Also present was Cao Cao as well as Liu Bei, whom Cao Cao had taken into his protection. Sun Tzu's heart burned with a fiery passion as he came face to face with these two great heroes of the age. That man, Cao Cao. I don't trust him. It is men like him whom we must keep an eye on in the future. Hmm. He doesn't seem so great to me. He just looks like a creepy old man. Keep it down, will you? <laughs> I'd be careful what I say if I were you. This is Cao Cao's camp, after all. And you are? My name is Liu Bei. I came here to pay my respects to the little conqueror of Jiangdong. Hmm. Sun Tzu, there is something I wish to ask you. Yeah? What can I do for you? Yuan Shu is holed up inside his castle. First, we must break down the castle gates. So I would like your army to attack the western gate. Understood. Please, leave it to us. Excellent. I am counting on you. So you're the daughter of Sun Jian. I have heard much about you. I hope it wasn't anything embarrassing. Well, let's talk about that later. Now, let us speak of the plan to defeat Yuan Shu. <laughs> I can see that your beauty hides the spirit of a true warrior. <laughs> Why, thank you. I don't think I could receive a nicer compliment. I have heard much about your abilities in battle. I would very much like to see them for myself. Come, Xiang Xiang. We must make for the Western Gate and aid our brother. Hey, sis. Did you pay a visit to Liu Bei? Hey, Zhou Yu. Is it true that Se is really going to kill Yuan Shu? It is an order from the Emperor himself. A loyal servant of the Han has no choice but to follow the orders he is given. Your brother's decision is the correct one. There is no need to concern yourself over the matter. Your brother's dis... It must have been difficult for Sun Tzu to accept my request. Yuan Shu is the protector of the Sun family. I would have thought it difficult for them to attack him. Yuan Shu... Thrust! Sweep! We must prove the might of Cao Cao's army! 
The captain's always trying to make a good impression. Lord Shaho Dwen has the complete trust of his lord and his men. The one known as Zhou Yu seems to be quite capable. The orders have finally been given to take down Yuan Shu. I'm looking forward to seeing him beg for his life. So that is Zhou Yu. He's very pretty, isn't he? Lord Sun Tzu has grown to be a great man. He loses nothing even beside the great men of those other mighty families. I heard Cao Cao say that Yuan Shu was like a rotting skeleton in a graveyard. If I can help my lord in any way, then I will be happy. Come on, boys. Train harder. We mustn't bring shame to our lord. We must shine more brightly than any army out there. I wonder how Lord Liu Bei and Lord Cao Cao like fighting together. They don't exactly look like the best of friends. I couldn't believe it when Yuan Shu took the mantle of Emperor. It's amazing how much a little seal can change things. I finally understand why our Lord was so troubled. Whip! Understood. Come, Xiang Xiang. We must make for the Western Gate and aid our brother. <laughs> Yuan Shu has delusions of Imperial grandeur. Quite frankly, we'd be better off with him gone. Indeed, the people are suffering under his leadership. For their sake, he must be removed from power. To free the people. A selfless man indeed. You believe your wits are a match for mine? Don't give up yet. We are very close to victory.
Sun Tse has turned against you and Chu. Perhaps his time is up. There is no point in standing beside you and Chu any longer. You can count me out. Who says a woman has to be weak? Them the might of Witness the ballista! The strength of my bow. Absorb a fool any longer. If we use the ballista, we should be able to reach the castle walls. Come. area belongs to us now. Prepare the battering ram. It is time to break down the gate. That's it, my sister. Very well done indeed. Hardly just going to let us in, I suppose. But it'll be hard to reach them all the way up there. Xiang Xiang, use the ballista to take them out. That's better. And now to open the gate. It's time. Use the ram to destroy the gate. Open. Let's go. Let's so you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. Enemy a fight they'll never forget. I can't believe I lost to someone as scrawny as you. Who says a woman has to be weak? Fight on! We must not fall short. Dangerous to hurry forward alone. You are most kind, my lord. Search all you want. Lord Yuan Shu isn't here. 
Good job, sis. I'm gonna pick up the pace. Let's go. We're taking over that area if it's the last thing we do. I can't believe it. I've never met someone so strong. Who says a woman has to be weak? If I can't hide, then I'll have to fight. Now is the time to attack. Everybody, to battle! Great work. Now let us go forward. I assume you will accompany us. We've searched everywhere. There's still no sign of Yuan Shu. You would flee like a rat, Yuan Shu. After him. Any whose side with you and Shu are to be executed. No exception. Cao Cao is a ruthless man and a dangerous one. You are a magnificent warrior. We all must follow your example. Down like a man. I can't believe that loss to someone as scrawny as you. Who says a woman has to be weak? like a king. Well, I'm going to take some of his treasure. Okay, begin the charge. Everybody, follow me! I'm proud of you, Shangxiang. You fought magnificently. I am a Sun, too. This is all in a day's work. I had a lot of fun fighting alongside you. I assure you, my lord, the pleasure was all ours. So, what are you going to do now? You're not just going to keep on working for Cao Cao, are you? <laughs> well, I hope that we can fight together again someday. My lady. Your brother is like a burning flame. His brightness attracts all who encounter him. You are lucky to have such a strong man by your side. Until we meet again, my lady. Why is it always about my brother?